Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Chipotle. I was craving a Chipotle burrito after watching a mukbang last night of someone eat a burrito. I needed it. And some dragon sauce, my favorite stuff ever. This is like a secret menu thing. It's not on the menu, I don't know why. It's not on the app. You can't get it through DoorDash, which is like so annoying. <laughs> but it's just the sour cream and hot salsa, which you could just get sides of each. But they don't let you get a side of just sour cream on like delivery apps for some reason. But yeah, it's just half and half of each. And you shake it and it gives you a spicy sauce. It's free too. Very good with chips, but I wanted it to dump on my burrito. I guess I should have got chips. But I feel like lately their chips have just been salt with a side of chips. Like it's so salty. So I got myself a burrito. It's nice and warm. Oh, big baby. This thing's like five pounds. <laughs> and then I also asked you guys if you had any questions. I screenshotted a bunch and we'll be going through those. So let's just dig in. I get extra white rice, pinto beans, fajita veggies, corn, tomatoes, queso, cheese, salsa, and lettuce, or sour cream and lettuce. I don't get any meat. I don't like it. Makes the whole makes the whole Chipotle taste like meat. I don't know. I've never liked getting meat on my Chipotle. So I get a veggie without the guac. Mmm. I don't know why I didn't get napkins. I have one left in my car. <laughs> Mm-mm. -mm. All that queso. And then let's do a little dip in here. Sometimes this dragon sauce is like extremely hot. Sometimes it's not bad. You never really know. Oh yeah, let it soak in there. Perfect. It's perfect today. Mmm. Wow. It's been months since I've had Chipotle. Okay. I saved a lot of questions, so I don't know which ones I'm going to do. I'll just kind of swipe through and see. Tell us what you do at the gym. So I just got a gym membership again. I was talking about it over on my vlog channel. And um, I've been going every single morning. I do 10 minutes on the Stairmaster. The Stairmaster is horrible. But I start off with that and then I do just on the treadmill for 20, 30 minutes. Um, I just, every two minutes I up the incline by two. And then once I get to 10 or if I go higher than a 10 incline, then I just reverse and go back down. So I just stay on the treadmill for as like long as I want, but I do at least the 20 minutes and then I just do some machines. I don't, that's basically my routine. I don't have like anything that I follow. <laughs> yeah, thumbnail. Could you please do an unedited get ready with me long video? Yes, I actually have like a 30 minute long video I'm going to be posting on my second channel here soon. This is so good. Look at that. I need to take a snap of that. Yes. So. I got this pop socket from pop sockets website and it just like you can take it on and off like see it comes off and then it just magnetics back on I love this pop socket I can't believe like I'll take it off sometimes if I'm using like my mag safe charger and then I'll like have my pop socket off for a little bit I hate it Pop sockets are so nice, like to hold your phone with. I love it. I didn't have one for so long because 
I don't like how you have to stick it on your phone case and then it's stuck there. You can't like take it off. But that one being magnetic. Mm. <laughs> when you're cooking, do you listen to any music or podcasts? I honestly just listen to the TV. I always have House Hunters playing. My dog's like watching the TV. Mochi loves watching sports. She actually watches the TV. It's so cute. Hershey kind of just does her own thing, but I usually always have the TV going, like all the time. So I just like listening to that. I think it's like just peaceful. I'm not one to blast music. I know lots of my friends will like play music loud when they like get ready and do their makeup. I like don't do that. I never really blast music. In the car, I'll play music, but I don't know. I like the peaceful quiet. I think that's why I also like living alone. I like the, the quiet time. It's peaceful. My dogs are pretty loud, though. I a lot of this so far. Have you experienced any signs of your dad around? Um, I feel like the signs have kind of like faded. I don't know that notice them as much. Like my microwave doesn't beep as often. I sometimes see doves, but like I've always seen doves. Um, on my dad's birthday, when me and my mom were driving up to meet my brother, he's like an hour away. There was a semi in front of us with John 316, like the Bible verse, but that's also my dad's birthday, um, which we thought that was kind of weird because when do you ever see that like on a truck? And I don't know, that was, that was weird, but other than that, no, I don't really like feel anything sad. Lots of questions about the drunk driver and are the charges still pending, all of that, like what's happening. You guys, next week, next week it's finally coming to an end. Finally. It took seven months. Um, so next week I will be able to tell you guys everything and I also have merch coming out that I'm going to be donating all the proceeds um, for my dad, all of that. I will talk about that next week. But yes, finally I'll be able to tell you guys all the details and everything. It'll all be online too. But yes, finally. This person parked right in front of me out of all of the spots in this open parking lot. It's all open. They just are staring at me and laughing. I think they're gonna come up to my car. Like, right in front. I'm, like, about to move. <laughs> you want to join my mukbang? <laughs> what is my favorite coffee right now? Brown sugar shaken oat milk espresso. So good. So, so good. I haven't been getting the ice caramel macchiato that much anymore. Because this new drink. Well, I've had it before. But one day I was like, I'm going to get that instead. So, every morning I go to the gym at, like, 9, 10. And I'm there for like an hour. And on my way back, Starbucks is on the way back. So it kind of motivates me to go to the gym. Because I'm like, I can get myself a treat after. So, I've been getting that like every day. I didn't get it today though. Are you still doing press on nails? No, these are actually, they're dip nails. They're my real nails. I've been doing dip for, ah, uh, since I lived at my other place, like two years. I love the dip. I would never go back to having acrylic nails or press-ons. The dip is amazing. It makes your natural nail, nails so strong. Um, 
and then I just get them shapened and redone every three weeks sometimes I'll get them cut down but I do like them long and if one does break because sometimes your natural nail nail will break it's only happened like twice but then you'll have to get like a tip but yeah these are all real love dip it's a little more expensive but it's better for your nails and it's faster it only takes like 45 minutes How are you mentally? I got that question a lot too, which thank you guys for caring and asking. Um, you know, I am, I am, I could say I'm better than I thought I would, I would be after what has all happened. But I mean, I still cry every day. I cannot watch old videos and look at old pictures really. I cry. Um, we just found out that my cousin is having a baby and it's like sad that he's not here for that and it's like it's gonna be like that forever um my mom's birthday will be the next one coming up and then mine like we're it's just never the same and we're always going to wish that he was here for big life events like that big or small it's just always gonna suck and i'll probably always cry about it but i can still get myself out of bed and get ready and do what I like to do, which is filming and editing, seeing my friends and stuff like that. So that's at least a good thing that I can still get myself up and doing all of that. But just because I film myself all put together and ready, trust me, there's bad times of the day too. I just am not going to be posting that online. But yeah, I, we still cry. I cried in the store yesterday. Me and my mom both, I started bawling and then I was making her cry when we were literally walking around the thrift store. It's just like so much, so many things we would all do together because we were such a close family. We are such a close family. And it's like, now it's like a chunk is missing. So it's just never going to be the same. But yeah, you just have to keep on living, I guess. You know, I don't know. I don't have the best advice yet. Like I'm still dealing with it. And I probably will be for forever. But that's what I would have to say with how I'm doing. Um, did you want to pursue a different career out of high school? Or did you always want to do YouTube? I always wanted to do YouTube. These people in front of me will not stop staring at me and taking pictures, so I'm actually going to move. Um, it's, it's making me very uncomfortable. I'm just trying to eat my burrito, and they're, they're like putting words on their phone and pointing their phone to me, but I cannot read what it says, obviously. But yeah, I, I'm moving. Okay, anyways. Um, I have wanted to do YouTube ever since I was young. Um, I've always loved being on the camera. I, for those of you who don't know, I've been on YouTube since I was eight years old. Um, I started going to VidCon and YouTube events at 13, 12, 13, I would say probably 13. And I actually started getting ads at the age of 14 and I have just done it literally ever since I have always loved it. it's always been my dream and I'm a big dreamer and believer that you can make anything you want happen in your goals so it's always been my goal and I did it I think people forget how like long I've been doing it because I know people who want to start and they're like how did you do it like how do you get views like all you do is this you don't do anything there's a lot behind the scenes and it's been going on for over 10 years
I'm making a mess. I need another napkin. Because I'll get some nasty comments. Like, there's always going to be nasty ones. I got this backhanded compliment yesterday. They're like, you are so pretty, but have you ever thought about getting a nose job, though? <laughs> like, what? Like, no, I haven't, but thanks. <laughs> People are nuts. Like, I, I do see a decent amount of rude comments. But I just don't want it get to me because I'm like, I know that person is obviously suffering in, uh, internally and has their own self problems and that's why they're bringing it out on other people. Um, I could never imagine leaving a mean comment. on I, I have never done that. And I don't know, like, that is just weird. And it's like a weird stalker obsession problem for you to watch someone's content over and over and like hate certain things. It's like an actual problem. So that's why if I see mean comments like that, I'm just like, oh gosh, I don't know. Something is wrong with you. You are mean and you need to work on yourself. It's just weird. But people will be like, what's your job? That's not a job. Um, I do all of my filming. I do all of my editing on two channels. I am on Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, and I am now streaming on Twitch. I will film, honestly, it's like 24 seven. I'm filming, thinking of ideas, and editing. I do it all, which I have thought about times of getting an editor because it, it, it takes a while. And I'll film like videos that take all day and then I have to come home and edit it all night and I'm like, oh, I don't feel like it. But I'm like, I can do it. I do all my emails, I do all my business calls, I do all of the stuff that doesn't look like I would be doing, I guess. Like, you wouldn't assume there'd be that much work behind just posting online. But there is. And I love it. Like, lots of other YouTubers I know, they're like, you don't have an assistant or you, you do it all yourself. Like, how do you have the time for that? I'm like, it's my full-time job. I got the time for it, you know, like some people might be just nine to five and get off. I'll wake up, film all day and maybe some nights not edit that night. Some nights edit until one in the morning. Like it's, I'm lucky enough to be able to pick my own schedule, but it's a lot harder than what it, what it seems. Um, but I have thought about also just getting my realtor's license because that stuff really interests me. I love looking on Zillow at houses. I just love all of that. House Hunters is my favorite show. It's just always been an interest. So I thought when I'm at home in my free time, like I'm not in a rush or anything like to finish the class, I think I might take some classes just to learn. And that's a great side job. Very good, because I could choose when I want to do it and all of that so yeah I've been thinking about that because I love houses I love decorating all of that when I was younger I did want to be an interior designer so that type of stuff has always been interesting to me Ooh, spicy this is really good though I like the white rice way more than the brown. I used to get half and half. White is so fluffy. Would you get another dog? I love dogs. I think I could definitely take care of another dog. But no. I want my mom to get a dog. And I was like, I will train your dog. And I would babysit that dog whenever. Like, I am such a dog person. Like, once they're trained, it's easy. You know? And Mochi was so easy to train. Like... She's six months old and she is amazing. I feel like I'm a good dog trainer now. I have done it already twice, all by myself, not with the help of anyone. And yeah, I don't know. I, I want her to get a dog. But she said she will when she's ready. Um, have you thought about going to a psychic medium to try to connect with your dad? You know, a lot of people have told me to do so, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to, like, talk to someone. I don't know. 
Like, do you just have to explain everything? I don't know. It just seems kind of fake to me. Because obviously someone could just look up my story online and, and like, figure out everything about him because he was all over the internet. So, I don't know. If you guys have a story, comment it or DM it to me because... I have thought about doing it. One of my friends has done it and like she said how the psychic knew things that like were not online and no one else knew but her and like the psychic knew it. So I, I thought about it. Like just doing like an online one. I just don't know if I fully like believe it. But like would it give you good closure and like would it make you happier? I don't know. I don't know. Why haven't you filmed any videos with your mom recently? I am full. But there's only this much left. Like, is that even worth saving? Maybe. I'm really full. That was good. You know, my mom... You guys, you guys know this. My mom never really liked being on camera. Um, like, the past... Six months, I would say, me and my dad, like, convinced her to be on it with us. Because me and him were always filming. But he wanted to. He loved it, just like me. No one else in my family likes it like that. Like, w if she wants to, then she will. But I've been trying to help her do her own cooking videos and stuff like that. So, we've been doing that, and I've been teaching her how to, like, edit and use the phone and all of that stuff. So, she just was never one, really, to love being, like, the attention on the camera. So, I don't know. It's... She doesn't want to. But if you want to see the food she's baking and stuff like that, you could check out her Instagram. I have her tagged on my page. So, you can find her there. But, I know. I'm with her all the time, and... Like, it's crazy how many pictures and photos I have of my dad and, like, other family members. I have, I have a decent amount of pictures, but not as, like, I have a video of my, my dad every single day. Like, I'm getting my Snapchat memories, and it's, like, every single day I was just filming him being goofy, but he loved the camera. So, if I just take out my phone and videotape someone else, you know, they're shy. They're like, stop it. So, it's like I don't have many candid photos and videos of, like, anyone else. So, like, he, he loved being on camera. No one else likes being on camera as much as him and me. I, I love it, too. <laughs> so, I definitely get all of this from him, which lots of you guys tell me I look like him, which I love that. I really do. Um, he'll live through me, but I am so full and I'm going to go do a return that I have at Target and then go home. I wish it was warm out so I could walk the dogs. That's why I've been really going to the gym every day because if, if it's warm, I'll go for a walk and the gym, but that's why I've really been getting myself to go. Because working at home, I'm on my computer sitting a lot. So I like to take the dogs for multiple walks and go to the gym and walk. So I've been feeling really good this week that I've been getting in my steps. <laughs> but I think I'll do a vlog and talk more about the gym and, you know, get me, show me getting ready and stuff for the gym stuff like that so make sure to follow my second channel it's almost at 100k it's been a year since i made that channel which is crazy it's like 10k away so if you're not following it yet please do it's just steph vlogs so yeah i will see you guys next time i love you all so much bye